With us on the broadcast, Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense expert, also has uh, served in the army for the longest time. Sir, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, taking the time out. Um, so the Indian army is preparing itself now, getting itself up against what um, China, against of course what we've seen China do time and again. Uh, these hardened shelters, uh, hangars, uh, your uh, you know um, runways and airstrips and what not we've seen China build not only in the Xinjiang region but in the Tibet region near Arunachal. Uh, was this the need of the hour, sir? How long uh, did we need this for? And now that it's finally here, um, how important is it going to be for India strategically as well as to send a message to our neighbour? Uh, very very good question by you, and you know see. Uh, Karl Marx had once said, if we want peace, we have to work as hard for peace as we have to work during wartime. So we are working as hard in the peacetime. And Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had also said very clearly that, you know, we are procuring these uh, uh, equipment. Like he just inaugurated Brahmos in Lucknow on 26 at the, same, at the same time. And he said that it is not to be used to, you know, procuring it to... to strike other countries, but to preempt other countries of casting an evil eye upon us. Because hmm. India is a very peace-loving nation. And we will not leave anyone. But if someone has left us, we will not leave him. So when other nations are aware that this is our capability, now for example, M400 from Russia, which we are getting, which, there was a ban on Turkey. The US had put sanctions on them, but not on us. Because ultimately, everyone knows that India is a very sensible nation. And they are keeping it as like in a game of cards. We keep a trump card. Which, which we don't use, which we only will have to we, when we are like really compelled, even then, we try our best not to use. Now, even when Lieutenant General Harpal Singh, the chief engineer, he mentioned this on 26 when he was getting uh, uh, an award at the engineer's conclave over there, that we are going in for micro tunneling. That's the latest technology where we, like, you know, Pakistan, for example, not even a month back, they were satellite images of Pakistan actually trying to do conduct nuclear testing and uh, trying to make underground tunnels in the same place where earlier, decades earlier, they had tried uh, nuclear testing over there, which they attempted. Now, India is keeping ready, basically from all sides. Because uh, now, if when we talk about the micro, uh, micro uh, tunneling technology, it's the latest technology where we can dig from 500, a diameter of 500 meters to 4,000 diameters. And it gets all dug through remote control. It's just like in a cataract surgery. Earlier, we had to actually physically go and get a surgery done. Now, no. It's all through laser. It's all, you don't have to really dig and cut in the... Similarly, you don't have to physically go and dig in there. All through remote control, the tunneling is done. And similarly, there are pipes which can be jacked through remote control. So, India is keeping its defense prepared, preparedness 100%. And not only in terms of technology, in terms of infrastructure as well. Just a few months back, Mr. Rajnath Singh had also inaugurated four, 48 bridges, right from Leh Ladakh to uh, Sikkim area, to the northeast, in fact. That is, and uh, such bridges which tanks, heavy uh, armored uh, tanks and vehicles can pass through. So that is the of preparedness of the Indian Army. And in 2017, General Bipin Rawat, the former uh, CDS, had spoken about India as ready for a two and a half front war, which means on one side China, on one side uh, Pakistan, and on top the internal uh, insurgency that we are fighting about in Jammu and Kashmir. So when we keep our nuclear weapons, our strategic weapons ready, I'm sure it preempts our not so friendly neighbors, our hostile neighbors, to cast an evil eye upon us. Joining us on the broadcast, sir, um, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. 